Hey, what's up everyone? This is Jonathan Coase and in today's free AI training, I'm going to be talking about Sales GPT, which is a multi-agent framework that allows you to create an artificially intelligent sales agent. And you can create as many as you want. In fact, you can even create your own call center. And that's kind of actually what I've been doing. I've been secretly working on in the background a call center. But in this training, instead of discussing the professional and commercial options available, I'm going to be talking about an open source version, which is called Sales GPT. And I'm going to get right into it because I'm actually using a remote desktop and I decided to make the change from one to the other. So instead of showing you like play by play, move by move, how to install it, I'm going to walk you through it, but you're not going to be able to see me do it like, like my Autogen video, my Autogen set up a complete tutorial. I'll try to, I can't promise anything, but I'll try to make a separate video that you'll see me actually set it up. It's really simple. It's actually not that difficult. If you're looking to mass produce your productivity, then let's get right into it. So it has contextual understanding. So it's able to analyze the current conversation in real time and determine what stage of the sales process that is in and then use that information that's inputted by a predefined knowledge base. And this is actually the framework right here. So you have your product knowledge base right here in the tools. And as it gets fed snippets such as messages, text, of information based off of the conversation, it sees the agent here onto the autonomous sales agent, which decides what to do based off of the stage of the sales process that is in, which again, you predefine in the beginning. And you actually can even have like product information about your industry, your niche, and you can have it to have rebuttals, to handle different objections. And I actually have a rebuttal book. So if you'll be training your actual sales agent, and giving it the proper data that so you can give it your preferred sales process. I actually have an entire rebuttal book here that handles virtually every single objection that anyone will ever run into in any industry, no matter your product, service, or opportunity. So whether it be health, wealth, or relationships, you know, stuff like, hey, I need to talk to my spouse. I don't have enough money for this. I don't have enough time for this. So this is the type of stuff that I would feed my sales agent and then that predefined knowledge base as well as the information about the product service or opportunity or your industry or your niche that's what the autonomous sales agent will use as reference in order to respond with tailor and appropriate responses to the individual that they're on the conversation with so this framework allows it to generate contextual messages to the human and the responses that come from that messages the the sales agent will actually analyze what stage is in as far as like the sales process use that information along with the product knowledge base and just a contextual understanding of the conversation in order to respond with tailored appropriate and relevant information and it can even close the sale by stripe payment and they actually have demonstrations hey guys today we're demoing our ai agent who is a healthcare admin for a pediatrics clinic Hello, this is Sarah with South Orange Pediatrics. How may I help you? Hey, Sarah, this is Philip, and I would like to schedule an appointment for my son. Hello, Philip. Thank you for calling. I would be happy to help you schedule an appointment for your son. Before we proceed, may I ask if you are a new patient or an existing patient? So he is a new patient. Great. As a new patient, we want to make sure South Orange Pediatrics is a good fit for your son. May I ask which insurance you have? So we have uh, Aetna HMO. Thank you for letting me know, Philip. We do accept Aetna HMO insurance. Now, may I ask how old your son is? So they're five years old. Thank you for the information, Philip. We do accept patients between the ages of three months to 10 years old. So your son falls within that range. Now let me inform you of the copay amount for Aetna HMO insurance, which is $100. Are you okay with this copay amount? Oh boy, you guys are really expensive. Um, do you offer any discounts? I understand your concern, Philip. While we do not offer specific discounts, we provide high quality care and a range of services to ensure the well-being of our patients. We also work with insurance plans to cover as much as possible. Would you like to proceed with scheduling the appointment? Sure, I guess we can do that. Wonderful, Philip. I appreciate your understanding. Now, may I ask if you are looking to schedule a general checkup or a sick visit for your son? So it's a sick visit. I'm sorry to hear that your son is not feeling well, Philip. May I ask what symptoms your son is experiencing? So he has some sort of a stomach pain. 
I'm sorry to hear that, Philip. Thank you for letting me know. Now, may I ask you, when would be the best time for your son's appointment? We have availability Monday to Friday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Yeah, so usually after he gets from uh, his uh, hobbies and stuff, so around 4 p.m., um, how about this Thursday? Thank you for letting me know, Philip. I'm glad we could find a time that works for you. Unfortunately, this Thursday at 4 p.m. is not available. We do have availability next Thursday at 4 p.m., or if you prefer any other day and time, please let me know, and I will check for availability. Uh, do you have anything earlier on Thursday? Yes, we have an appointment available next Thursday at 2 p.m. Would that work for you? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Great, Philip. I have scheduled your son's appointment for next Thursday at 2 p.m. May I have your email and phone number to send you the appointment confirmation and reminders? Um, yeah, so I don't want to give you my email, but you can have my phone number, which is 207-111-2535. Thank you for providing your phone number, Philip. I respect your privacy and understand if you prefer not to give your email. We will send the appointment confirmation and reminders to your phone number, so you should receive them shortly. We look forward to seeing your son next Thursday at 2 p.m. Thank you for choosing South Orange Pediatrics, and have a great day. All right, bye-bye. So basically, SalesGPT is an implementation of a context-aware AI agent for sales using large language models and can work across voice, email, and texting, SMS, WhatsApp, WeChat, Weibo, Telegram, etc., and sales GPT is context aware, which means it can understand what stage of a sales conversation is in and act accordingly. Moreover, sales GPT has access to tools such as your own predefined knowledge base, which I was telling you about, which significantly reduces the hallucinations. So you can close sales. The AI agent can actually close sales by generating Stripe payment link and closing orders from customers. You can use any LLM to power your AI sales agent. So thanks to the integration from Light LLM, you can choose any open, close or close source LLM to work with sales GPT, power real time sales conversations with synchronous and asynchronous completion with LLM, synchronous and asynchronous streaming from LLMs, optimized for low latency in the voice channel. Voice AI sales agents boast a one second round trip response rate to human speakers, which includes the entire pipeline, speech to text, LLM inference and text to speech, while ensuring st stability and scalability and human in the loop. So for use cases where an AI sales agent would need human su supervision, that feature is available. Lang Smith Tracing, debug, test, evaluate, and monitor chains and intelligent agents built on any LLM framework, and the enterprise grade security with prompt armor to protect your AI sales agents against security vulnerabilities. And they actually even have a roadmap all the way at the bottom here. So you just want to keep up to date with what's going on. You see all this information and tools in the description below, as well as the pinned comment by the affiliate marketing samurai. So just real quick, let's go over how to install it. So the first thing you need to do is make sure you have Python between 3.8 to 3.12. And I actually have that in the description as well as Git. So you just come over here, download Python and you download Git. And then you'll be able to basically get started here from Windows. You can open your command prompt. And again, I'm not going to do it because I actually made the decision to shift from one remote desktop to the other. So instead of using Shadow PC here, which is actually a gaming computer, I'm going to be shifting to a more remote desktop, which allows me to do more stuff because that, that actual desktop is focused on automation. So again, instead of actually having you see me over my shoulder installing it and getting it all set up, which I need to do anyway, because I'm creating an AI call center with all of the samurais, Master Chef Samurai, Health and Fitness Samurai, Dating Relationship Samurai, Affiliate Marketing Samurai, the Cash Alchemist, the Money Magician, etc. All the samurai in the different dojo, they all they actually have their own sales teams individually because they're all in different niches. So this is something I gotta set up anyway, but I, I realized today that I'm not gonna be able to do it on this computer, but I do recommend that you do have Visual Studio Code. Let me just go ahead and read off the installation process says so again if you have a windows you can just open the command prompt or powershell and you can clone the git repository up here click on this green button here where it says call and then where it says copy url to clipboard you grab this and then open your command prompt and type in git clone and then from there just put the actual you can paste that link in there and it actually says it right here so you clone the sales gpt github repository navigate to the repository and in case you use a different v e and v name rename the v e and v variable in the make file cd sales gpt so if you have a mac you just open a terminal navigate to your project directory put these commands in right here 
create a virtual environment using this right here and activate the virtual environment. And then if you simply want to work with sales GPT as an end user without local changes, you can install the command pip install sales GPT. If you want to work on your own version of sales GPT or contribute to the open source version here, install by activating your virtual environment as aforementioned and then run make setup command. For more detailed installation steps along with the reasons for doing each, please visit the contributor md and finally for use of sales gpt created dot env file just use our dot env dot example and put your api keys there by spe specifying a new line just as they've done so to run an example ai sales agent navigate into the sales gpt directory cd sales gpt sales gpt can be run in various ways tailored to your preferences and setup below are the methods available Number one, using Docker. For those who prefer containerization, Docker offers an isolated and consistent environment. Ensure Docker is installed on your system by following the official Docker installation guide, and I'll try to have this in the description below to um, installing Docker. To run sales GPT with Docker, you execute the following steps. Number one, start the application with Docker Compose. Use the command below to start sales GPT in detached mode. So it'll be docker-compose-up-d. If you made changes and want them to reflect a pin, dash dash build to the command above. Number two, stopping the application. To stop and remove all running containers related to sales GPT, execute docker dash compose down. So when it comes to troubleshooting, in order to clean up the Docker resources, if you counter errors, you can clean up Docker by removing all unused containers, networks, images, and volumes with caution. Docker system prunes dash dash volumes, and then rebuild without cache. To rebuild and start the services afresh without cache, run docker dash compose up dash d dash dash build dash dash no cache that way it doesn't have like the, the previously uh all, all the previously stored memory that you have on there that may interfere with your new operation so after a successful setup ac access sales gpt at the local host and again they do have a, a browser like a user interface like a really friendly user interface and on the right hand side they have the the entire thinking process where you can see the framework working in action like the actual stage analyzer as well as how it's sourcing the product information in relation to the actual conversation at hand so for terminal enthusiasts or automation scripts run sales gpt with the following command python run.py dash dash verbose true dash dash configuration examples for slash examples underscore agent underscore setup dot json and you can test your setup by activating the environment as described above run source env for slash bin for slash activate on unix like systems and dot env scripts activate on windows replace env with the name of your virtual environment and two cd cell gpt if you haven't already navigated to cell gpt or home directory and number three make tests all tests should pass warnings can be ignored so i'll leave the rest of this in here as far as like how to uninstall and the documentation and information about the langsmith tracing which is just with the large language model applications at the very bottom of this page here is the roadmap so you can come here to kind of keep up to date with everything but you can get started right now and again you need git python and I recommend using Visual Studio Code, which I've, I've always used, at least for AutoGen and AutoDev. And subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be talking about more stuff, especially with AI call centers. And take a look at the tools and the resources below because I have all of these different websites that I mentioned. This GitHub repository as well as Git and Python and just like the necessary requirements for this. And I'll try to have this image as well. And I'll have a link in the description for you to get access to this rebuttal book. Again, it has a rebuttal for virtually every single objection that you'll run into in sales, no matter what your business is, whether it be health, wealth, relationship, you're selling training on how to raise Vietnamese pot belly pigs, you're an underwater basket weaver, a butcher, a baker, a candlestick maker. It doesn't really matter what your industry is, whether you're selling skin creams and nutrition products or opportunities. There's a rebuttal in this book that handles virtually every single objection that you're run into whether it be i can't afford it this is too much money i don't have the proper time on my hands so you should see this in the description as well as if you go to my youtube channel here i have an entire playlist on objection handling and closing the sale all right so with that said i hope you enjoyed the video i'm going to follow up and make more videos about this because i'm extremely passionate and enthusiastic about selling in general that's been my passion for about 15 to 20 years now so this is something right up my alley especially with the simple fact that you can mass produce and create artificial intelligent versions and create your own ai sales force and this video specifically was focused on an open source version even add free language models from LM Studio to without having to worry about those high iteration costs. All right. So try to go through this video again and check out the resources below. Subscribe to the channel. And if you like content like this, then I highly recommend that you check out my website. I talk about everything when it comes to generating traffic and increasing sales. And with that said, I will see you in the next video. See you then.